Good morning, good morning. My question to y'all is, can I catch some redfish in this rain, overcast skies, and high winds? I'll have an answer for you if you stay tuned to this video. y'all glad y'all can join me I'm pretty sure y'all are staying more dry than what I am clearly as you can see it's raining today it's one of those days where it's probably gonna rain all day it's gonna rain all day but if, you're, if it's raining like this, just a, a light rain, I can tolerate this. Y'all probably wondering, why are you out in the rain fishing? Well, number one, that's how much of a passion I have for it. But other than that, I am fishing a month-long multi-species tournament. So a uh, redfish is one of the species that I can catch. And I have to catch 30 fish. But guess what? I forgot my measuring board. <laughs> out of all things, I forgot the measuring board. But it's okay. I'll be back out here tomorrow. I have plans on cooking fish for my family tonight. And I'm going to just use today as a day of grocery shopping. I'm going to come out here, catch me a couple of redfish so I can bring back, clean, and get it prepped up for later on today. Let's see what kind of sale the marsh has for us today. The water is definitely high, really high. So we probably got to push back into some of this submerged marsh and uh, hopefully we can find a couple of them playing around back there. There we go, y'all. Oh, yeah. And guess what? This is a perfect eating size slot fish. I love it when I'm grocery shopping and I catch the, the good size. Like I don't I don't like catching keeping those big red fish at all. buddy there we go there we have it y'all first redfish in the rain good eating size redfish right here it's one two three four five six spots on this one pretty redfish like I said this one isn't too big not too small once again, perfect size. Oh, it's fish number one. He came right off the, the edge of one of these little patches of marsh right here. So this is flooded marsh. Really wouldn't be able to get in here if the water wouldn't been so high. So uh, I really wouldn't have been able to get in here if the water wasn't so high. So uh, that's what I like to do. When the water is really high, I like to push back into the marsh and fish those areas that those fish normally can't get into and I can't get into. So, and it works. The limit in Louisiana is four redfish per person. Me personally, I would have been fine if they would have changed it to three, but hey, it's not my decision and I'm not losing sleep over it. So we are going to try to catch our limit of reds. Um, if we only catch three, 
I'll be I'll be happy with that. So let's get after some more, y'all. This little area right here looks pretty fishy. If you have to ask me. It's another little area that I wouldn't have been able to fish if uh, the water would, wouldn't be so high. So let's see if we can. Find a little something something if you know what I mean. Definitely have some uh, movement going on. I don't know if it's bait or fish. But there's some life in here. I think I see a a fish. Yeah. I see a, a red fish. I see just the the tip of the tail sticking out the water hey yes <laughs> oh, gotta love it put the power pole down just in case there's a couple of more another good eating size redfish about the same size as the other one that I caught right down that spinner bait so I know I talked about the spinner bait in my last couple of videos but once again y'all this is a lure that you need to have in your boat if you don't because it will catch fish today is prime conditions for a spinner bait a chatter bait or a gold spoon because you have cloud cover, you have wind, um, you know, so it, it's just it, it's just perfect, perfect conditions. You cannot go wrong with a spinner bait, um, gold spoon, silver spoon, chatter bait, any of those type of lures uh, you want to throw in these type of conditions that I'm fishing today. We have two more fish until we reach our limit, and we've only been fishing for about 35, 40 minutes, so. Let's see if we can uh, get those two more. All right, so we caught, we caught two fish out of this area and we missed one as well. So I think uh, this little small area has served this purpose for the morning and I'm gonna move on down see what else we can find oh yeah there we go uh, I gotta get him out that marsh. Gotta get him out that marsh. Uh, there we go. Oh, power pulled down. All right, buddy, let me flip you in. All right, y'all, that's fish number three. Once again, another good eating size red. Three spots on this one. Perfect. All right, so I wanna quickly explain to y'all what I'm doing right now to catch these redfish. I'm simply throwing a spinner bait. And let me see if I can uh, get this spinner bait over here. Y'all seen this bait before on my channel and in the stores and everywhere else. Just a regular redfish spinner bait 
with a one eighth ounce jig head on it. Put your favorite paddle tail on there and just cast and retrieve. That's all I'm doing right now. The marsh is flooded right now. The water is really high. So I'm able to get my boat in places that I normally wouldn't be able to get it. And also these fish are swimming and feeding in places that they normally wouldn't be able to feed. So when the water is high like this, that's what I like to do. Get deep in the marsh and fish these untouched places. And I normally do pretty well. Right now I have three fish in the box. I only got one more to go before I reach my limit and i'll be good to go i'll probably fish around a little bit more just to uh, catch and release some but i'm catching these fish to cook up for my friends and family and we're gonna grill some fish and we're gonna fry some fish and just have a great time and enjoy each other's company the weather is still super overcast and it's going to be like that all day today i'm currently trying to dodge a lot of the heavy rain it rained pretty good early this morning and right now we're starting to come down a little bit more i'm pretty sure y'all can see the drops on the lens other than that i'm going to try to catch one more redfish before uh the heavy rain comes back in and and yeah and just enjoy the rest of my time out here so let's get back at it Definitely see that those rain clouds are getting a little bit darker. And as I said that, I just hooked up on another one. This may be fish number five. I don't know. I don't know if it's 18 inches or not. It might be. It's pulling pretty good. Oh yeah. It is currently 10:51. I got out here and I started fishing right before nine o'clock. It was right at nine o'clock, probably like 8:55, and um, and it's 10:51, and I have my my limit. So that's definitely not a bad morning at all, given the conditions that we have. I was just saying before that fish uh, hit my lure was that I can see these rain clouds starting to form up again. It's starting to drizzle, so. We have some more rain that's coming this way, but I came out here, I made my groceries, and uh, I'll probably have a little bit more fun and catch and release a couple more before I head on back. I don't want to get too soaked. All right, y'all, we got a couple of redfish straight ahead, actually. They're actually right here. Oh, 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 oh god oh i messed that cast up and he still came out of nowhere and hit it oh man Definitely the catch of the day for sure. And a go Ooh. In a in a great way to end today's video with a nice upper slot redfish. Looking straight ahead, y'all can see that's uh some pretty heavy rain that's coming. I just checked my radar and it don't look good. So after this fish, we're getting out of here. Gotta have my net right here. All right, guy. 
come up here and say hi to the camera and I'll let you go back with your friends. That one hit a little paddle tail on an underspin. It's a very good uh, bait to use in the marsh as well. I'm good, that's a nice fish, y'all. Not as big as I thought it was, but still nice. last fish of the trip because I'm not trying to get stuck in no storm I can fish in the rain like what I'm fishing in right now but when I look at the radar and I see red and orange that means it's time to get the heck out of here I'll talk to y'all when I get back to the truck So real quick, I want to close out my video. Excuse me, I know I'm soaked and wet, but it is what it is. So overall, the morning was great. I had a good morning of fishing. They had a lot of bait in the area. The water was clean. The water was very high, as y'all can tell. So what I did was I pushed back in the marsh as much as possible. And that's how I was able to find some of those fish. I was fishing areas that I normally wouldn't have been able to fish because I wouldn't have been able to get back there. When the water is high like this, those fish love to push far back and they feed up in areas that they normally wouldn't be able to feed in. So that's what they was doing today and I just capitalized on that opportunity. A spinner bait with your favorite paddle tail on the back of it. And with those overcast skies, the winds, um, you know, low light conditions like that, it's prime time for a spinner bait. Enough talking, I need to get dried off, but thank y'all for tuning into this video. If you haven't done so yet, please hit that like and subscribe button for me. And I hope y'all have a great day. Y'all please stay dry, stay safe on that road. Tight lines and God bless.